Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you installation of Python IDLE. Also, I will be showing you how to use it for running Python program. So, let's start the video. Open any of your favorite browser and just search for Python download. And guys, here you can see the official website that is python.org. You need to just click on this download Python link. It will redirect you to download page of python and here you can see the current release of python that is python 3.11.3 you need to just click on this download python button if you want to install it for windows if you want to install it for other operating system you can select from here click on this button because i'm having windows operating system so guys you can see my uh, download of exe has been started and it is done now i'm going to click on this exe to start my installation let me minimize my browser and here i'll click on run button and now guys here you can see it is showing me uh, two options customize installation and install now i'm going to take customize installation but before that let me explain this two part so you need to just check mark uh, this use admin privileges while installing py.exe also just check mark this that is add the python.exe to path variable so you don't have to manually add python to environmental path variable okay now guys click on this customize installation button and here it is showing different optional feature that is documentation pip and uh, ideally so these are the feature which will be installed along with your python pip is one of the important uh, download which is useful for installing python packages okay so uh, i'm keeping everything default and i'm going to click on next button and then guys under advanced option i am going to tick mark on this option install python 3.11 for all users so whoever is user of my system for everyone python will be installed if you don't want it to be done for all the user you can deselect this and guys this is going to be the location of python so c colon program files python 311 i need to just click on this install button okay now here it is asking me permission so i am going to click on yes button So guys my installation has been started it will take a while so we will wait okay guys so my setup is successful now i am going to click on this close button and now after this let's verify the installation so for that let's start the cmd so in search just type cmd guys here we are going to verify the version so for that i python space hyphen hyphen version and here i am going to hit enter so guys you can see it is showing me python 3.11.3 you can verify pip version or space hyphen hyphen version so it is showing me pip 22.3.1 so guys now uh, let's run one simple program and show you there are other ways also to verify you can start the ideally and check through that also so just type py it has taken you to python now here you can type any statement i am just typing simple statement so my statement is going to be welcome okay and let's hit enter so guys it is showing me message welcome so that means python has been successfully installed now this is one way you can verify installation now i am closing this command prompt and i am opening ideally so just type idle over here and you can see this idle python 3.11 64-bit just click on this app it has started my uh, python ideally shell so now here i'm going to type again a print command so here also you can type your command this is shell which will run your code so now here i'm typing thanks for watching this is my command i'm going to hit enter and guys you can see the output this is another way one more way you can go to file menu click on new file and here you can type your code whatever you want to so i'm again typing print code so now i'm going to run this so before running you need to save it so go to file menu and you can save wherever you want so just uh, select the option save as and now i'm selecting my desktop and here i'm just typing hello 
and by default the extension will be pi and I'm going to click on save button and guys now to run it you can click on run and run module or you can press F5 keys also so you can see here it is showing me message please subscribe whatever was uh, the code in my python file it is showing me that so guys I hope by following my video you are able to successfully install the current version of python and now you know how to run a python program using python ideally so guys if you like this video do hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box I will surely reply to your queries and guys you can join my telegram channel I have given link in description box there I am sharing lots of pdf related to coding and programming freely so you you can join that also and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching my video till then i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care